Oh, hey, Arthur. Here. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. When I was in the Navy, I, I was talking in the comments with a couple subscribers, Chibi Paella and Sean McManus, about a video on the gang's horses. But first we need to start with Arthur's current horse, the Silver Dapple Pinto Missouri Foxtrotter, which he found at Moonstone Pond. And I'm mentioning and showing this horse for the algorithm, and I also wanted to put her into the keywords. Hello. Kieran, Kieran. So let's start with the obvious. Here's Dutch's Arabian, the Count, a classy name for a classy horse. Note that he is not a white Arabian, he's an albino Arabian. Check out his pink hooves. Dutch's saddle isn't anything special, which is surprising. And look at those tatty saddlebags. I would expect much more from Dutch. Also, fun fact, if you ever see a horse in camp and you want to know who it belongs to, try and mount him. And the game will politely tell you you can't, while also telling you who owns the horse. Like your new home? I won't miss that other place, that's for sure. Keep your nose clean. Here's Karen's horse, Old Bell, a smoky black Nakota. See, Karen has a nice saddle. I suppose we could say something rude about Karen's saddle, but let's avoid the subject entirely and check out Old Bell's pretty auburn mane. I also like this default animation where all the gang horses are grazing peacefully. They all look so happy. And here's Silver Dollar, Hosea's horse. He's a silver Turkoman, available at the Tumbleweed Stable post-game and one of my favorite breeds. Hosea also has a nice saddle. I like the tooling, but I'm not loving the stirrups. Stirrups, in case you didn't know, were invented by the Mongols in the 10th century and gave them a strategic advantage in battle because they now had a 360 degree mobile platform to fire arrows from. Here's a rando Tennessee walker, a pretty red roan with a strawberry blonde mane and tail. You can also see Arthur's buttermilk buckskin Kentucky Saddler across the way, but I don't want to go near him right now because I'm not interested in fishing with Javier anytime soon. But across the camp is this big boy, Meet Ennis, Sean's American Standard Bread Silver Tail Buckskin. Ennis is a town in County Clare where Sean mentions he's from, so he's a little piece of home for Sean. You can get one for yourself at the Tumbleweed Stable, again post-game. And here's Taima. You remember Charles's horse from Chapter 1. She's a gray, snow-capped, spotted Appaloosa. Taima is the Native American word meaning thunder crash. And then there's Javier's Boaz. He's a gray Obero American paint. Boaz is a biblical name. He was the husband of Ruth and it means swiftness or speedy. And I really like the tooling on Javier's saddle. And here's Uncle's very pretty Sabino Kentucky Saddler that he named Nell the Second. I like to think Nell was a lady Uncle once knew, way back when he was known as the One-Shot Kid. And here's Baylock, Micah's horse, a black Missouri Foxtrotter. I do love the MFTs, but I assume horses are like dogs in the sense that they reflect their owners, so you have to assume this is an evil horse for an evil man. The name Baylock is a derivative of the English name Blaylock, which means dark or black lock of hair. Lenny has a light Palomino Morgan named Maggie. Now, him being only 20, you just know she was named after some girl he was sweet on, maybe before he left home. There has been some speculation on Reddit that Maggie is actually a Mustang, but the legs are all wrong. Mustangs have furry shins. And she's missing the definitive backstripe, so I'm pretty sure she's a Morgan. And then there's Kieran's horse Branwen, a flaxen Rowan Tennessee Walker. Branwen is a Welsh name that means beautiful raven, and as this horse isn't black, and he's also young, 
I'm going to assume she's also named after some girl he used to know. I bet he wants to name his next horse Mary Beth, but that's another story for another time. To my mind, Kieran has the best saddle in the camp. I really like the color and tooling, and those silver accents. He even has the tapadero stirrups I like. Here we have Old Boy, John's silver dark bay Hungarian halfbred. I do like the Hungarians, they're a big strong horse. I also like John's blanket, that's a nice shade of red. And he also has the tapadero stirrups. But I bet he stole the idea from looking at Arthur's saddles. And then moving on to chapter 4 so we can see Sadie's horse. But first we can see Silver Dollar again and Old Boy. And here's Taima and Nella's second. She looks great in this light. Here's another shot of Lenny's horse Maggie. And here's Arthur's Amber Champagne Missouri Foxtrotter that he named Amber because he has no imagination and wanted to get out of the stable quickly. And here's Bob, Sadie's gold dapple Turkoman, a perfect horse for Sadie and her new career as a outlaw slash bounty hunter. I do love me a Turkoman, they're strong, fast, and brave. And Sadie has a canteen. Why can't we have canteens? Her saddle is, regrettably, nothing special. And let's not have any rude thoughts about Sadie's saddle, but then again, have at it in the comments. And finally, here's Guedion, Josiah Trelawney's brown leopard Appaloosa. Guedion is a Welsh name after a Celtic trickster god, very much like Loki, and very appropriate for the man who Dutch once referred to as that fancy fop, Josiah Trelawney. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again further on down the trail. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. You're coming with me.